Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of Blistec Solutions Tuesday Tech Tips. And in today's tech tip, I want to show you a feature of Teams, which is called Shifts. So Shifts allows you to manage the shifts or, or work schedules of uh, your employees. It allows people to choose particular shifts, swap shifts, request time off uh, and clock in and out. And it's a, it's a really useful feature if you've got multiple shifts you need to manage across your team. So within Teams itself, what you need to do first is go to Shifts. So if you click on the More Apps here, and we can see shifts there. If you can't find it, you can just search for it here and then click on shifts. If you don't have any shifts created, it will ask you to create a shift. But uh, we can see here uh, we've got the option to add, add a new schedule. And if we do that, we can select the team um, within teams that that schedule needs to be associated with. And then when we've got a, a brand new schedule, it's totally blank it looks like this there's just me in the in the schedule and we can add people uh to this list for example um here um and then we can also start to add um some shifts so in here we click on add an open shift so an open shift is a shift that somebody else can choose or request or can be assigned to someone so we add an open shift we select the time how many slots are available for that shift um uh breaks that are included and any notes that need to be added to that shift to let people know what they ought to be focusing on during the shift so if i just quickly save that um and then once uh, once you've gone through all of this and created all your shifts it's going to look a bit like this so you can see here i've added a variety of shifts uh for my organization or my test organization um so we've got early morning shifts regular shifts uh, later shifts and then some out of hour shifts um, and then what we can do is we can start to assign those to people so here we can select uh, assign this open shift uh, say who to um, and so on and so forth we can copy and paste them so if I copy that I can paste it in into here for example using control C control V or using the uh, copy and paste features here um, and as a manager, I'm able to do this. So, but what I'm going to show you next is uh, how it looks from an end user point of view. Uh, incidentally, and wait, until you've made your changes, you see a little star here. We need to share that with the team, and we share which which week we're sharing the shift for, um, and share. So now let's have a look at what it looks like for one of our employees. So. Our employees go into the shifts within Teams the same way as I showed you earlier. And from here, they can start to request different shifts. So if you don't allocate the shifts to them, they can actually request them shifts themselves, or you could you know, allocate it to them and be more dictatorial if you want to. What they can also do is start to request shift changes. So if I, for example, request that shift, um, which would then uh, go on and have to be approved um, so we can see here we've got the uh, the requested shifts here I'm just going to go in and approve that quickly so now once I've um, got that shift in my diary I can actually request that that's changed so if I click on new request I can request time off I can swap a particular shift so I could choose to swap that shift with somebody else uh, or I could offer this shift to another person as well. So a very quick run through of shifts within Microsoft Teams, but as you can see, it's a very useful um, feature that's included within Teams that will allow you to manage multiple shift patterns across your team or business. I hope you found it useful. I'll see you again next time.